All right, so now we're ready to start assembling our gin pole. We've got our three tower sections laid out with our hole on the bottom. And that hole is gonna match up with this nut, much like the, the tower base itself did. So um, the way this works is we've got a safety cable that's gonna run up through the gin pole. We've got an eyelet on both sides. So this eyelet is gonna go over this nut, and then the top eyelet is gonna hook onto our rocker plate at the top of the gin pole. So we're gonna start feeding this through the tower sections. All right, so we'll just leave enough slack here that um, when we're ready to put our gin pole up onto the lag bolt, we'll be able to feed this through first. All right, so attaching the gin pole is the exact same as attaching your tower base. We've got our holes to match up with our lag bolt, and then uh, we've got our safety wire that we're gonna feed through this lag bolt as well. So we've got a locking nut on the end here, Bind with another nut. Pull that lag bolt out. So we're gonna feed it halfway through. We're gonna get our, our safety cables eyelet through. Pop right through. And hand tighten this nut. And then we'll pop on our safety nut. And remember that to actually tighten this nut, you're gonna need two crescent wrenches. One for the nut and one for the locking nut. And now we're ready to assemble our gin pole sections. We got our safety wire running up through here. So push that through. and lock it into place against the flange. And then our third section, you can just barely see our safety wire hanging in there. So when we attach our rocker plate, the lag bolt is gonna go through the rocker plate through our safety wire to compress those sections together so we don't have any problems raising and lowering. So in order to get uh, our rocker plate installed, it's always best to raise your gin pole up and on a sawhorse so you have a better area to work with, just like that. All right, so we're gonna attach our rocker plate to the end of the gin pole. And we wanted to uh, make sure that we spun our top section of the gin pole so that our two holes are horizontal. So now we've got a rocker plate slid on there. Got our safety line eyelet. Feed that right through. And then just like the bottom, got a nut and a locking nut that slides over the top of that.
So we get that tightened down. So on our rocker plate, we want to make sure that these top and bottom bolts are tightened so we know that this rocker plate's not going to go anywhere. We're raising and lowering the tower. Alright, so we've got our tower and our gin pole all assembled. Our rocker plate is installed on the end of the gin pole. And now we're going to roll out our, our lifting guy wires first. So remember we were careful to set these collars so that our lifting guy wire was on the top. Um, it's easy to tell if we have our lifting guy wire because it actually has this eyelet that comes factory installed from Bergy. So uh, we're just going to roll this out using that hand over hand motion so we know that we're not gonna get any kinks in our wire rope. We're gonna roll it right out to our rocker plate and then go ahead and extend it all the way forward so we don't get kinked up anywhere. All right, so we're at the top of our gin pole here at the rocker plate, We've got these shackles and we want to attach this locking carabiner so that we can add our, uh, our lifting eyelets onto this carabiner. So I'm just going to pop that in there, tighten up this shackle. We've already walked out our first lifting point, our lifting guy wire. So we'll just add that onto the carabiner and then repeat on up for the, the rest of the lifting guy wires. So we're, now we're going to continue to unravel our lifter guy wire cables in the order from bottom to top. It's very important that you attach the lifter guy wires in that order for, so when you lift the gin pole, the guy wires don't get tangled. 